These are the pieces needed for the block. I'll include a downloadable list and... Right, this is stage one. These are the four corners. Uh, it uh, starts with these two and we just make half square triangles with them. We need four so we do two sets. We put the line down the middle and then, uh, then we stitch them and they come out like that. Then, I use the tucker trimmer for this. We trim them to two and a half. Not much to come off. So, there's always a little bit that doesn't make it. <clears throat> now the next piece to add to this is the brown. This, these are, now we add this around here. <clears throat> We've cut the uh, three and a quarter inch squares in, t in half and it goes like that. These are bus butt up to this like that. So I'll sew those now. It sort of takes a few goes to get this right using the right side so it creates that you just uh, I, I fiddled a lot with it at first but it's just the basically the long side this side goes on the outside like that I'm now going to press this and trim it back. I've left a fair amount on this. I'm using one of these lines on the ruler to go from point to point so it uh, sits straight. And I've left the half inch um, seam allowance bit left over but I always feel it's better to be sure than sorry and that's it now we add the aqua to complete the block just sort of space it out and so down here now we're going to do the usual with this these are five and a half inch squares for the combination unit and we've got the pink and the tan. Put those two on, put the tan on top or the pink on top, it doesn't matter and then we go from corner to corner. And so a quarter of an inch away from the line. Done. Now we'll cut it and press it. Press it to the tan, which I suppose is the darkest.
Right, that's done. That should now be five, I think. Yep. So now we take this one. <coughs> Pardon me, I think I'm getting a cold. It's the first day of winter tomorrow. Uh, June, first day of June is the first day of winter in this country, in this upside down place. Now that's, we've cut this as a five inch block to go on the top. Now we've got to make sure that we go in the opposite direction with this. And we're going to do the same thing again. You just have to make sure that you're not doing it the same way. And that way it'll end up like that. So off to the machine again. There, that's done. Now I've just got to cut it down and we've got two units. I'll just press and cut it now. I'll cut and press it. They are pressed it to the large side once again and tuck a trimmer again, trim it down to four and a half. usually take forever to do this. So that's two of them done. Two to go. And it means we've almost done it. It's only really got two, two blocks in it, two different styles. I'll do two more and then it's time to put it together. Two more of those, one more of these corner ones and it's ready to go. All right, we've made it. Now all we've got to do is put it together. Uh, there's one word of warning though that and that's that these are mirrored images and if you put them in the wrong place it doesn't really work out because these are around the wrong way they don't uh, create that effect in here like we do there so we've got to go this way thus right we're done now I'm going to put it together and that is Roman tile I'll just straighten up the edges a bit. It doesn't seem to need much, but I'll just... Uh... Done. I opened up some of them at the back and turned some of them into the centre because uh, it's the, the least bulky area, I think. Well, that's it. I, uh, I did this years ago, 15 years ago, maybe longer. I put it into a sampler quilt and uh, I liked the look of it and I thought I'd do it again. It's in different colours, of course. And uh, so I sort of figured out what I did. 
I'm going to do some more from the same. I've got I made two sampler quilts, and I'm going to do some more blocks from both of them. Some of them are original, some are not. But uh, it'll be a, a journey into my past, I guess, to see how they go. If I run out of ins inspiration, I'll just look at the old quilt. Well, that's it. Onwards and upwards to the next quilt. If you like this, uh, perhaps you might give me a like, and if you really like it, you may subscribe. Thank you for watching.